Welcome to this week's Pick the Team, Leicester City. Uh, just some rules, as this is the second week. We know that Adam is 1-0 up. Congratulations, Adam. Uh, so, there is one point for getting the most number of players. Hey, yeah. Hold on. There's one point for getting the most number of players in the starting lineup. If, say, we both get 9, 10 or 11 players, then you go to formation for the decider. And if you get a perfect prediction, you get the players and the formation, you get two bonus points. Does that make sense? Good. So I got one point. Uh, you got one point. Muzrat Rizwan, uh, from what we can work out on the comments last week, was the best. He got Falcao. He started Falcao instead of uh, Robin Van Persie. But aside from that, had everything nailed on. So let's talk about this week. Adam, who are Hold you on, playing sorry. with? Hold on one No, let's not. Who are you playing? Move on. It's 1 0. You should be happy you lead him. Okay. The rules are clear. David De Gea in goal, yeah? yeah? I'm going with a 4 3 3 again. It was 4 3 3 against QPR. I don't care what anyone says. So, Rafael Rojo at fullback. As I said before, Luke Shaw's tight jeggings means he don't make my team. Evans and Blackett at centre back. I don't think we should change the back four. I thought they all played well. It was great to see Rafael back as well against QPR. I thought he had a great game as well. He was fantastic, wasn't he? Good to see him back. Yeah. And then. Herrera and Blind. What about them against QPR? Amazing. Di Maria ahead of them. Mata in the hole. Rooney and Falcao. So one change. Falcao ahead one of Van Persie. Okay, right. What I'm going to do, I sort of don't think will happen because it never happens, but this is my prediction. I think he's going to play the same 11. <gasps> I'll tell you for why. Uh, Radamel Falcao, I want to see him start. But he has had a huge injury and he's played like 40 minutes of competitive football. He's had one week of training. It still seems like an unnecessary gamble to just lob him into the starting lineup. I don't know. I was I'm not an expert. I've not been watching then. training. But it seems like why throw him in there? The same as Luke Shaw. He did 45 minutes. He only did 45 minutes. So why start him? What's the point? Tyler Black is doing a good job. Rojo does well on the left. Why bother starting Luke Shaw? Bring him off the bench for half an hour to go. Give him a bit of game time. There's no need to start him, I don't think which is why I haven't. So from that, I've left it exactly the same as he did last time. Uh, so that's As it. you did last time. You got it wrong last time, no. Sam. Yeah, I know I did. But I mean, I've, I've got so the you, same you team the Van Howell did last time. Oh. Van Howell did last time. I did last time. Yeah. Right, here we go. That's it. Please let us know what you think. You might do as well as Muzrat. Get your name called out. That's an achievement, probably. Uh, write down below. Let us know what you think the starting lineup will be. Comment, like, and share this with your mates. Have a ruddy good night. 2-0. I think we have to drop one of them. And it'll probably be Robin Van Persie. Uh, who gets dropped but it'd be interesting to see how we play if he does persist with all three of them because I don't think personally it will work 